Good day, uh, grade 11 learners. Welcome to our presentation for today. But before we start with our uh, short uh, lesson, I would like to remind you that we are in the middle of a heat wave right now. And it's going to be scorching hot outside. So we want to make sure that you are safe and cool while you are at home. So bring with you your bottle of water and refill them from time to time and hydrate yourself and stay at home okay and another reminder i already gave you last week the uh, materials for you to do uh, every day until we are back for our regular classes but this morning we are going to shortly discuss how to demonstrate the virtues of prudence and frugality towards environment. This is related to our learning competency in intersubjectivity and human person in the environment. Okay, so I would like to start with the definition of prudence. Prudence is defined as the ability to have good judgment that allows avoidance of dangers and risks, while frugality is the act of using money or other resources wisely and practically. Prudence covers good judgment considering the consequences of an action, using common sense and discretion, exercising caution, and conforming to reason and decency. Frugality is the quality of being thrifty, sparing, or economical in the consumption of resources, and avoiding waste, lavishness, or extravagance. Arising from the discussions, uh, it was suggested that a new society that should inspire the development of a new human being that will nurture prudence and fairness or frugality towards environment. And these are some of the functions according to Froome's Invasion Society. Number one, the enthusiasm to offer up all forms of having in order to fully be. Number two, being fully present where one is. And the third, trying to lessen greed hate and illusions as much as one is adept. 4. Making the full growth of oneself and of one's fellow beings the utmost goal of living. 5. Not deceiving others, but also not being deceived by others. One may be called acquitted, but not naive. 6. Freedom that is not uncertainty, but a bundle of greedy desires, but as a carefully balanced structure that at any moment is threatened with the alternatives of growth or decay, life or death. Happiness in the manner of ever-growing aliveness, whatever the extreme point, is the destiny permits one to reach. For living as full as one can be, so agreeable that the concern for that, for what one might not attain, has little chance to develop. Number eight, joy that comes from giving and sharing, not from hoarding and manipulating. Number nine, developing one's capacity of love together with one's capacity for critical and sentimental thought and lastly shedding one's narcissism and accepting that catastrophic boundaries inherent in human survival so those are at least 10 functions of what we envision as a society so what can you do this time I would like you to get a sheet of paper or maybe you can use make use of your activity notebook 
and answer the following questions. In demonstrating the virtues of prudence and frugality towards environment, answer the following. What is happiness? Number two, what is freedom? And number three, what is joy? You may write your answer in Filipino or in English. Okay, students, that's all for today. I hope you learned something from our short presentation. And in order for me to follow whether you were able to learn from our presentation, I would like you to subscribe and hit the button like and leave a comment below the comment section so that I will be able to know whether you were able to watch this video. And again, uh, stay hydrated and stay cool and stay at home for our safety. Thank you and have a good day.